Sunny, what's going on with your hair? Can we see your tattoo? Yeah. Sunny, with the curly hair. Yeah. Isn't his hair amazing? His hair is amazing. His hair is amazing. Hair montage. Welcome to I Love My Toddler Butt. He can look however he wants. Sonny has always had great hair. He was born with hair, lots of it. When I was like eight months pregnant, the ultrasound technician was like, you better get a comb ready because this baby has a lot of hair. Please show me. I had to, I had to. It was a really bad dreadlock, but I cut too much, I think. There's other ones. This one. It definitely has its challenges. I mean, it's so long he can hardly see, so we're constantly trying to put it behind his ears or touch it. It gets dreadlocks because we can't really brush it because it's, his scalp is too sensitive, and so we have to cut out the dreadlocks. It's just like a whole thing. Like it makes bath time a little bit more complicated and difficult because he doesn't really want us to wash it because it's so tangled. Like it's so cute and so beautiful, but it's a struggle. You look like Elsa. You look like Elsa. Me too? Yeah. You want me to put my hair up? So I put a picture up of Sunny on my Instagram, as I usually do, and someone commented, he looks like a she, Whitney. I get the whole not wanting to depict their gender, but Jesus, this is the third pic of him I've seen today that if I didn't know he was a son, I'd most def think he was a girl. And to be honest, I don't doubt in a few years when he sees these pics you're sending out to the world just might upset him. It's a thought to acknowledge. There's so much wrong in there. First of all, what is a he supposed to look like and what is a she supposed to look like? There isn't any supposed to look like anything. Whoever said that because boys have long hair that makes them like less of a boy? Like I just don't understand that. I would hope that Sunny's strong enough and like we teach him enough to know that these things aren't binary and that like looking more like a girl doesn't doesn't it just doesn't mean anything obviously being public on social and opening up my world like i get a lot of people commenting stuff and lately it's been a lot of people that pretend to or they think that they're helping and like giving suggestions instead of just like straight up telling you you're wrong but they're really just like showing their true colors and this casual like it's it's, it's homophobic. Yeah, it's it's homophobic. And this felt like something that I needed to respond to because I'm not cool with that. Like it's one thing if people think I complain a lot or they're like saying something negative about me, but to be like homophobic and have this live on my feed, like I needed to respond back. We are going to dress Sunny for as long as like that's what we have to do. As soon as Sunny tells us that he wants to wear something or like has an opinion, like whatever he wants, that's, uh, you know, how you dress is uh, an expression of you and your personality and like no one should tell you that there's one way to do it. Right, if, if he wants to wear a dress, yeah. he can wear a fucking dress. Right. Like, like we are not pushing him towards heterosexuality yeah. or homosexuality. Like. He will just be whatever he is born to be, right. and we're here to support that, not push him in one direction or another. It is frustrating to think that Sunny is going to have to like be in a world where these people exist and they have these antiquated opinions, but I think it's our job to have these kind of conversations with him. Like when he does want to dress a certain way, like us supporting that he can do that. Like those are ways to create like an accepting open person. The reason that we would cut his hair is not because anybody was telling us to cut it, but just because I think it's becoming more of a frustration for him. Like, 
I think it's painful for him, he can't see. It's just become a thing that doesn't have to be a thing. You know what I'm saying? Like we have control to make his life a little bit easier. And I can only imagine like having this kind of hair and not knowing what to do with it and it being like pulled on constantly and not being able to see like he doesn't have the tools to change it himself so i feel like as his parents we have to like make those kind of decisions for him so when you see him with short hair just know it is not anything that you said it is just to make sunny's life a little bit easier As parents, we have a responsibility to raise good, kind human beings. Like that is on us. And it's important to have these conversations to support the, your children when you maybe see like the tiniest ounce of what would be called like quote different, like to support that difference and make them feel like it's okay. Our kids are really watching us and how we speak to one another and how we interact with the world and it's on us. It's Jason, just, it's Momoa, Jason Momoa wore his hair down and like a scrunchie on his wrist to the Vanity Fair Oscar party. Like, um, you guys, if you like this video, you should like it. You should subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And... You should always remember to have peace in the street. Yeah, always.